All right, now let's catch up with Danny and where she's exploring today. Danny, what are you learning about at the source? Hi, Claudia. Yeah, there's plenty to learn about at the source. And oh my goodness, you mentioned the Nuggets at the beginning of the show. I just want to say right now, first of all, awesome game last night. Second, if you want a cool place to watch the rest of them, because you know we're going all the way, we are here at the source and there's plenty to do, whether it's watching the game, hanging out, grabbing a drink, grabbing coffee, breakfast burritos, all the things. We're going to talk to you all about it. And that's why today we are here with HC Noel and Michelle Drugan. Guys, thanks so much for having me. I feel like I'm already part of the team. Thanks for coming Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Of course. This is you guys are moving in, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> moving in. All, the, all of that. All the stuff. Ooh. I love it so much. Well, HC, I want to start with you. The Source is a super cool concept. You can yeah. obviously see this around us. There are restaurants, there's cafes, there's different things to do while you're in here, plus the hotel, which is so cool. Um, can we talk about that with all of our viewers? What can we do when we come out here to The Source? Yeah, so originally the property started with the brick building behind us, uh, which is a rebirth of a eight, 19 or 1870s uh, steel mat, steel factory. Wow, that gets fun today. Uh, but over there, we've got a, two of our restaurant vendors and a couple other shops like Vell Art, uh, Switchwood, and soon to be Fevco Chocolate. Uh, but then coming to this side, uh, where we have the hotel uh, and restaurants that opened in 2018, yeah. uh, we have two of our three Michelin recommended restaurants, plus the woods on the eighth floor, and then our 100 room hotel, which features uh, some German Japanese style soaking tubs. So really, really cool product, a lot to do. Uh, just as you stand here and look around, you're gonna see two restaurants, our art pop up, and then uh, you can hear our meeting <laughs> happen in here behind <laughs> yeah, us. Totally. Uh, they're having a big time th th yeah. this week. So. Yeah, definitely. So, so much to do. And obviously, yeah. when it comes to meetings and stuff like that, too, you can hold them right here, which is yeah. so, so cool. I love this so much. So, Michelle, explain where we are now in the source. And, you know, we kind of talked about some of the things around us here, but walking into this main area, I mean, mm -hmm. what can we do while we're in here? What are the kind of big takeaways when we walk in? Yeah, so um, right now we're on the second floor of the hotel, uh, which is our market hall. A lot of great activity here. Um, you heard the meeting going on um, over there in our ballroom. And then we have three Michelin recommended restaurants. So we have Tamaki Den uh, for sushi lovers, um, Safta, which is our Mediterranean, and then Smoke, um, which is our barbecue. Nice. So aside from that, we also have some vendors. We have a pop-up um, Bell Art shop uh, so an artist residence in the house um, and as well as like a lot of co-working space so it's a really great place um, good energy and stuff sure. a lot to do which is yeah. so awesome and she mentioned smoke we're actually gonna go there uh, after this so everybody so uh, at the back at the station already gave us their orders we're really excited <laughs> um, but we were talking too about the meeting going on events are a huge part of the source experience which is yes. so cool so awesome here so share more about those what's coming up what people can come and enjoy when they come to the source yeah, absolutely. So here in Market Hall 2 is where we host most of our events here on property um, and activations. So we have um, one called Puppy Yoga, which has quickly become a fan favorite. So uh, we like to partner with local vendors. Um, so we have Sweatnet come in, one of their instructors leads the class. And here's the best part, uh, we have a local rescue, Lifeline, come in and bring in uh, little companions to enjoy that yoga class with. So puppies, um, it's the cutest thing. Ah. Sells out pretty quickly. Um, then we have our first Friday every month where we have local artists come in, display their work. Um, and then sometimes we have live music. So it's a really nice synergy for our hotel guests to come mingle, check out some of the artwork, and as well as the local community. Yeah. So, yeah. so much to do. HC, I have a million more questions for you, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> um, but we are running out of time, so I want to let everybody know how they can come and enjoy everything here at the source. So guys at home, here's the deal. You want to spend a few hours, spend a few days. You can really spend as much time here at the source <laughs> as you want to, which is so wonderful. And it's at the Source Hotel in the Market Hall. For more information and to book, go to the Source Hotel. Com. All right, you guys. Well, if you don't want to stress about those carpets right now, we have a great place that you can escape to because who wants to think about that? I am live here today at The Source to give you all of the information about all the amazing things that you can do while you're here. And I'm here with Michelle and HC. Guys, thank Hi. you so much for a oh, beautiful day to have me on the rooftop. <laughs> Not a bad one. It's perfect. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous up here. Okay, so before we dive into the woods, which is where we are right now, we're in 
the woods, but we're outside on the rooftop. It's it. We'll get into it. Um, HC, let's talk about where we are, why this is such an awesome location for anyone wanting to experience Denver, check out the views, have some brews, all the things. Yeah, I think honestly what the source is, is what Denver is. It's a little bit of everything. You can come in, you can eat, you can stay, relax, play. You can get out into the neighborhood and enjoy it. It's a melting pot uh, of the Denver neighborhoods. It's one of the most popular areas to be. And when you stay here, you really feel like you're part of the neighborhood. You walk out to a local brewery. We have uh, a local show that's been in, in town for a few months across the street. Yeah. Uh, so come in and enjoy those things. Mm -hmm. uh, you're close to downtown if you want to get into a Rockies game or, or go cheer on the Nuggets while they're in the playoffs. Totally. Uh, mm -hmm. Or if you want to jump up to the mountains, it's only about a 45 minute drive to get into some hiking. So uh, a phenomenal spot with a lot of fun offerings within the building. Definitely, it's not bad at all. And on a day like today, too, you really can't complain being out here as well to enjoy this. So I want to talk about the woods, Michelle. This yeah. is obviously a really special place. And uh, being up here on the rooftop, we can see the amazing views around us. And hey, we're in Colorado. You can <laughs> see it right here on the rooftop. So tell us about this patio. Tell us about why this is a very cool vibe for people and share more about what's in store for visitors up here. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, up here we have our plunge pool and hot tub, which is a great place to take a dip at the end of the day after exploring some of these adventures um, you know enjoying a cocktail our bartenders at the woods they're always um, you know looking to make something fun for you personal favorite of mine is the uh, blood orange paloma it's just it's amazing yeah so. that sounds that sounds incredible can't wait to enjoy that in a few months um, okay <laughs> so Michelle we're talking about the food and drinks too yeah. let's let's dive into that a little bit as well because we've been uh, kind of drooling over smoke all morning that's something that we're gonna try but what else can people experience when they come here to the source yeah so um, in addition to those great restaurants on the second floor that we were at earlier uh, if you come up here to the eighth floor which is the rooftop of course the woods we have um, we have everything you know seafood salads um, everyone loves the pizza here yeah. to give a little inside scoop um, it's made with a um, in-house um, and a special recipe wow. to make the pizzas. So margarita pizza, glass of wine, sit out here, enjoy, of course, the stunning views. It's perfect. Yes, can't go wrong. And with some yeah. Michelin recognition too, can't really go wrong at all. Well, HC, in the last 30 seconds or so, take us through what a perfect day at the source would be for you. Like what? what's like the ideal day at the source? Yeah, you've already nailed it. So start and smoke with a <laughs> breakfast burrito. Chorizo <laughs> breakfast burrito is absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, and then taking the day to kind of enjoy, relax, soaking in one of the tubs and you have to cap it off up here uh, with the sunset and a craft beer. Uh, but if you need to tidy up while you're here in the day, my girl Lauren downstairs at Barbara X will take it. Good care of you. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that is the way to do it. Well guys, thank you so much. You've planned out like the perfect weekend for people coming out here. So I think everyone has a plan already for what they're gonna do, but we appreciate you having us out yeah. here. Yeah, thanks for coming yes, out. of course. And I thanks wanna show out. people quickly to this amazing view behind us. I mean, again, guys, look at how beautiful this is. This is all right here at the source and this is all right here on the rooftop. Uh, at the woods. So make sure that you spend a few hours, spend a few days at the Source Hotel and Market Hall. Plan a gathering at the Source too, guys. Make a night of it uh, and just enjoy everything the Source has to offer. For more information and reservations and to book, you can go to thesourcehotel.com.